I'm Brian Bachman. I'm the product manager for Roloffs and Refuse here at Custom Truck One Source. Today I'm going to walk you through the correct procedures for loading and unloading a container and tarping with an AeroForce tarper on a Palfinger T50. This can also be used as an example on other Palfinger T-Series hooks. As in when operating any equipment, familiarize yourself with all safety procedures and operator's manuals prior to operating. The first thing to get this started is to engage the PTO. And then with all Palfinger T-Series, the operator controls are on a pendant with two thumb switches, a rocker switch on some other models for other options. To begin the loading and unloading process, you first need to slide the jib all the way to the rear position where a set of dogs disengage to get the hoist out of dump mode and into load and unload mode. The operator then uses the switch to start bringing the container on the truck. The operator now brings the hoist, the jib back over center and begins loading the container. He can either roll the truck underneath or the hook itself will pull the container up and over and slowly forward. You'll notice that with a hook, the operator is not required or needed to get out of the truck to make any sort of connection or to expose himself to the elements or work environment. Prior to the container getting onto the truck, it is critical that the sills are lined up with the rear rollers and either guided on with the flanges or automatically lined up prior to the wheels coming off the ground of the container. With a hook, if it is not lined up, the operator can drive forward and steer the container to line up automatically. At this point, the container automatically transitions from the ground to the truck and the operator continues to bring the hoist down. The Powell Finger has two speed hydraulics automatically slowing down prior to resting. At this point, the jib is now extended forward depending on the length of the container to get the container in the transport position. With a standard 22 foot long container and hold downs welded in the proper position, the operator is secured with the two hold downs and within legal overhang and ready for transportation. This hook truck comes with the aero tarper, which is remote control. To turn the remote on, you hit B and A, which will wake it up. And we do the functions just as written. We want to close the container. We raise that up. Again, raise the gantry. First, verifying for any overhead obstructions. Continue to close the tarp and the arms. Instead of adjustable arms, this has a sliding pivot. In order to cover longer containers, the pivot moves. Put the gantry back in the home position prior to travel. The remote will automatically go to sleep. To get the container off, first with the remote, go outside, verify there are no overhead obstructions, raise the gantry above the height of the container and the hook and then uncover with the arms, adjust the pivot point to rest the arms back in the cradle of the gantry. The first thing is to slide the jib back. The container will automatically unhook with the correct lockdowns. Bring the jib all the way back to the home position. The jib pushes the container off. When in the home position, the unload procedure is just the opposite of the load. The hook transitions over the center to the rear. The rollers pivot to support the sills of the container. At this point, depending whether you are placing a container or driving away from, the truck can be put in neutral or driven out from under the container, depending on ground conditions and where the container will need to be placed. At this point, the container is placed on the ground, the hook is lowered, and the truck can be driven away. <laughs>